Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Becca, I'm a mom to three boys and a military spouse, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family if you like get it all done, makeovers, motivational videos, you will love this channel. Today we are running around like mad women because I've got a mile long list, I got way too productive, too late in the day, it's been a crazy week, but we'll get into that later. So right now we're going to get Grayson and if I have enough time, I'm going to quickly go grocery shopping. I will share with you guys what I got. Um, or we'll do that later. You know what? Let's go get Grayson. We'll figure it out along the way. <laughs> All right, now we are back home. Got Grayson from school. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but honestly, I'm just not gonna have enough time. Um, no way I'm gonna be able to squeeze it in. I'm not gonna have enough time. So uh, I think I'll just go grocery shopping tomorrow. So unfortunately, I won't have a grocery shopping thing to share with you, haul. Words are hard today, sorry. Um, I won't have a haul to share with you today, uh, but I shared one last week and it's usually pretty typical so you're not missing out on anything um but i do have to go and get botox so i'm not actually getting botox i'm getting something else but it's similar to botox and i will brief you on it on like what it is what my experience is and everything like that afterwards i've done it one other time this will be my second time doing it i'm super excited i loved the results last time unfortunately they're like very mild results because I'm not like, I'm, I'm not that old yet and I'm not that wrinkled yet. So it's mild results. It's more like preventative than like instant gratification, right? Uh, but I was very pleased with results last time, but unfortunately I won't be able to show that this time just because um, it does have like an instant a little bit of an instant but most of it takes like two weeks to sink in so you don't see it right away and it's pretty much all worn off right now on me so you can kind of see see those smile lines right that's basically what I like really focus on uh, but like I said you will still be able to see them today there's like last time I did it there was a noticeable difference like within the first few hours but it wasn't anything like significant it took like probably the full week to two weeks to really like completely like to wear when I would smile you would not see them at all I will keep you posted on the next vlog I will also show you and in two weeks I'll also show you so you can kind of gauge like the difference so let's do a close-up right now so I can show you so we can compare and let's get on the road so we're not late Okay, I just finished up at the doctor's office getting the Botox and you can kind of see, not really, you can't really see in this lighting, I'll show you guys later, but I'm gonna go grab some dinner since there's not much at the house. So I'm gonna go grab some dinner um, on the way home and then we will eat. I have a little bit of like cleaning to do, some clothes to fold. Just some stuff like that to do around the house, um, some cleaning up to do before we all head upstairs for the night, that type of stuff. And I will catch you guys up later whenever I get the kids down to bed and I'll tell you exactly like what I got, how, you know, show you like where the injections were and everything like that. Um, but yeah, just show you guys all of that fun stuff. By the end of the night too, you might be able to see a little tiny, tiny bit of a difference. So, I'll show you guys that as well and we'll see we'll see if there's a difference 
that soon. Last time I got it, I remember there being like a slight difference. I could notice a slight difference by the end of the night. I'm sure nobody else could, but I'm also gonna go home and take some Tylenol because I got a headache last time and that's normal for some people. Some people get a headache, some people don't. I have a friend who gets Botox and she gets a headache after every time too. So I'm gonna go home and just take some medicine because I know I probably will get a headache from it. And that way, you know, I can kind of like push through the rest of my day um, and not have a headache maybe. So let's go get some food and head home. We're back at the house. I just ate dinner. The kids just ate dinner. Everybody is done eating. Hi. <laughs> Except for Tristan. He's eating some of Chris's Frosty. And we're gonna go on the back porch and pressure wash the, um... <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go on the back porch and pressure wash the rug and the furniture and stuff. It's a mess right now and I've been wanting to like get that done so I can go out there and um, you know, just oh hang, hang out and stuff. So I know I see you silly. Uh, so I've been wanting to do that now that the kids are outside more, it's warm and everything. So <sighs> we're gonna go outside and pressure wash the stuff on the patio and from there, we'll just have to see, probably come in and clean up actually. From there, probably come in and clean up. Like I said, I have a load of laundry that I need to fold. I have a load of laundry that I need to fold. So that is on the priority list tonight. Um, as well as, <laughs> as well as cleaning up, I so. I coffee, Mom. Really? You silly. I, can't I think I'm about ready to cut his hair. I don't want to, but summer it's going to be too hot. Okay. And if I could do like a man bun, I would, but his hair grows in kind of thin, so I think I'm just going to... No. I got it. I got it. I'll just take the lid off. It's fine. I think I'm going to uh, cut his hair the next time I bring the boys to get their hair cut. I think I'm going to cut his too. I think it's time. So, all right, let's go work on the back patio. The mess we have tracked in from cleaning up the backyard. I will definitely be running the robot vacuum tonight. Backyard's cleaned up. I am gonna have to rotate the cushions before I go to bed so they can dry a little better so all the water's not like sitting down at the bottom of one side. I'm exhausted. 
I would prefer to just call it a night at this point, but you saw the grass on the floor and all of that, and I just can't leave it. So I'm going to clean up, run the robot vacuum. I'll turn that on when I'm heading upstairs, but I do need to clean up. So I'm gonna clean up, wipe all the counters down, everything. That way the robot vacuum can get all the crumbs and everything too. Um, then head upstairs with the kids. I'm not gonna bathe them tonight because Grayson has a his first t-ball game tomorrow morning. I'm really excited about. So he's got his first t-ball game. So we will do bath time once I get back from that. And it's early in the morning. So I'll do bath time once I get back from that and just bathe both of them. I need to wash their sheets anyways. They're gross. So I need to wash their sheets anyways. So just send them off to bed tonight go to t-ball let them get all dirty and sweaty and everything and then come back and bathe the both of them but there's something else oh yeah i was gonna say i'm really in the mood to like get the kids to bed tonight and just like lay in bed nice and cozy and just watch a chick flick so that's what i'm gonna do tonight once I get these kids to bed and get cleaned up down here. So let's do that. that we got the kids to bed and we can talk now a little bit more in depth about what I did today exactly verbatim all that stuff and talk just a little bit more about like how, my process through this I guess sorry words are gonna be a little hard right now because it is so late I've been up all day I'm tired it's been a long 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 week um but I want to talk to you about the whole process of 
what I did, how I did it, what the motive was, like strategic wise. Um, I want to start off by saying that uh, the person who did my Botox, we'll call it for now, is a doctor. He is a doctor. He does this on the side. He's been doing this on the side for years. Um, but that just makes me feel more at peace because he knows where all the veins and tendons and important things are in the face where sometimes some states don't even require you to be like really licensed. Some states, this state, you literally just have to get a license, which doesn't take you very long. Um, so you just never really know what you're getting and that is really scary to me and that's why I waited so long to do it because I was just scared of picking somebody and then I actually found my microblader and she is in an office with a doctor who is the one who does the Botox. It's a doctor and a facialist. There's also a girl there who does facials um, and it's the three of them in this one office. They all pretty much work independently, you know. Um, but yeah, so he does it on the side. He only does it two days a week and he does his actual like doctor, doctor job the rest of the week. He's seems like he's pretty close to retirement, but probably still works just because, you know, he obviously loves what he's doing. I can tell like he has a passion for what he's doing whenever I come in and I see him and like he's just got really great bedside manners. Like he's really sweet. He's really nice. He, you know actually conversates with you it's not like an in and out he also doesn't like pressure me into anything when I went in there for the first time um well my microblader told me that you know he does hers and that you know she advises me to go to him because he is a doctor and there's a lot of people where like if you go to a med spa you just want to make sure that that person is um familiar and experienced and is licensed and like has the proper training like stuff like that so when she told me he was a doctor and he does hers and everything I was like all right that I trust that so uh when I went in to see him the first time I just told him what I was looking for and the first time that I went in my original was my crow's feet okay I feel like I can slightly see it working on this side right now but um when I originally went in, sorry about the lighting change, I got too close. <laughs> but when I originally went in, I told him my main focal point was my crow's feet. And then also, if you've been here for a while and you've watched me talk, you probably already noticed this. But this one eyebrow always raises. It's oh, I can't even remember. I mean, as a child, that would happen, right? Like that one eyebrow would raise, right? And it always does it. I don't even notice it. It's weird, like my wrinkles on my forehead are different because my eyebrows raise differently. And then I feel like if you look closely, <laughs> pointing out all my flaws right now or all the things that bother me. But um, if you look closely when I'm looking straight on, this eye looks a little bit droopier right here than this one. And I think it's because of my eyebrow, you know, it's always just a little higher. So it holds this one a little bit higher, whereas this one's more relaxed. So I wanted to even that out. Like I knew going into it, that was one of the things that I really wanted to work on. So when I went in there, I asked him, you know, is that possible? Like, I really just want my crow's feet or whatever. And I originally went in was like, give me Botox. That's what I want. That's what I think I need. And he was so sweet. He was like, you don't need a lot of anything. He's like, you don't have any lines that are permanent. Like if you look at me closely, don't mind my breakout. I'm like breaking out. But if you look at me closely, I don't have any lines that are permanent when I'm not smiling. And then when I smile, you see how the lines are there. But when I'm not, they're not there, right? So he said that because of that, because I don't have any fixed lines that I don't need Botox. I needed what's called Dysport which Dysport goes in and it spreads out, whereas Botox goes in and fills in lines and it stays in one generalized area. At least this is how he explained it to me. So I'm not a professional, don't take it verbatim, do your own research, but this is how he explained it to me. So because those lines are not like always constantly there, like my forehead lines, he said that I really didn't need Botox there um, and that I really just needed Dysport, which A, worked out for me because it's cheaper and B, it lasts just as long as Botox. Um, 
And so he did that. And at first I was a little weary, but he was like, listen, we'll do it. And if you feel like, mm, no, I don't uh -uh, need more. He's like, we'll do it. We'll do whatever you want next time. He's like, but this is what I advise for you this time. And if you don't like it, we'll address it then. So I was like, okay. So he did it within two weeks every line was gone. I mean, I could smile as hard as I would smile. I would try to like, and I'll show you guys in two weeks. When I vlog in two weeks, I will show you guys the difference. There's absolutely no lines. Like it was almost like, I can't even, I literally can't even implement it, but no lines whatsoever. Right? So it worked and it raised this eyebrow, not a ton. And I didn't even notice how much it actually raised this eyebrow until it started wearing off. And then I was like, Oh, it's drooping back down. So I was like, holy cow. So it did do more. Like it's not, this is why I love this so much, right? It's not a huge change. And some of you may have slightly noticed. Most of you probably didn't even notice because these things weren't even really noticeable on me unless I was like smiling really hard. And that's what I love about these mild things. I will never do anything to actually change. And I told him, I was like, you know, I... I was concerned about Botox in my head. The first time I went, I didn't do anything like that in my head because I told him I like the movement of my brows. Like, that's just who I am. It's a part of who I am. I don't want to change that. I don't like my one brow like this. Everybody who knows me knows me like that. So like, I don't want to change that about myself. Uh, and he was like, I love that. I love that you want to keep like your character and you're less concerned with like, you know, having lines or wrinkles and more concerned with, you know, being true to yourself. And that's one of the reasons why I love him because he is literally like, we're just going to do, he was like, you don't need all this. You don't need all that. All you need is this. And he sold me the cheaper version of Botox. Basically it's like a, um, I don't want to say it's a watered down version, but it's just one that, you know, for somebody my age who doesn't have like fixed lines, it's a preventative for me. So I don't need the Botox, but places that cared about money wouldn't have told me that they would have just gave me straight up Botox. Um, so yeah, so he gave me the disport, uh, and I just loved the results. I was so scared. And that was one of the reasons why I didn't say anything on here or on Instagram or anything. It wasn't cause I wasn't planning on saying anything or that I was ashamed or didn't want to. I was so scared that I was going to have ne negative side effects. I'm just like a worrier. <laughs> Anytime I do something new, like I worry so much. So I was like, I was already so anxious about it that I was like, I have to go through this and feel it out myself before I say anything because I just need to like, you know, compose and just get through it. And then after the first week, I was like, okay, I'm not having any, cause you never know how your body's going to react. I didn't think he would do anything to like to affect it, but I was concerned that my body would react differently to it. And thankfully it didn't. So I had a very positive experience. So I wanted to share it this time for anybody who's thinking about it. And if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram, feel free to message me in the comments. If you're comfortable with, you know, everybody seeing it, if not, you can D DM me on Instagram and I have no problem talking about it. But this time when I went in, since I felt a little bit more comfortable, I told him I did because my forehead wrinkles, you can kind of see, right? They're like starting to get fixed or whatever. They're not like, they're not super bad. These ones you don't even notice unless I'm doing that. But these two here are pretty well fixed, not super deep, but they're getting there. And those are recent, like those have been fixed like very recently. So I asked him to do my forehead, but I was a little concerned because I was like, I, once again, don't want to lose the movement in my brows and we're trying to lift this brow. So we obviously don't want to do anything to droop it. And if you go too low in the forehead, it relaxes everything, right? Because you don't want to do this and I don't want to lose that movement. So he just did up top for now. He said, if this middle line right here doesn't go away with that, that he'll do it a little bit lower next time, maybe just like one lower right in the direct area. Um, just to keep it more precise so that it doesn't mess with my brows. So this time he went in, let's see if I can get it to focus. So you can see there's an injection there. He went in right here. Sorry, I'm trying to like make it focus guys. He went in right here, right over here and right up here. You can't even really see that one. I think you can see that one you can see 
there's one down there too, but you can barely see it. And then you can see, I don't know, that's me breaking out again. I'm just breaking out everywhere, but you can see this one right here. You can see more. Uh, he did another one right there and right here, I believe. There was three, oh, maybe four on my forehead. I don't know, I closed my eyes because I don't really like needles, so I kind of just closed my eyes and let him do his, um, you know, let him do his thing. But yeah, so the forehead was a new one today, and we'll see in two weeks how that one, because that one I have no idea how it's going to, like, I know it won't droop my eyebrows because he didn't go far enough down, um, but it might only take out this line and might not do anything really to that line. So we'll just have to wait and see and assess next time. I did notice that it was about three months where it was like significantly wearing off. Like three months was about the mark where I noticed this started to droop and where I noticed I had like very, it was like one fine line that wasn't super noticeable, but that's when I noticed that it was starting starting to wear off to where I could tell, you know. Um, and then I don't even think it fully wore off at this point because there was still like, like you could see those two lines, but I feel like there was more lines whenever um, I went the first time before I had any anything done. So I'm going to go every three months now and get it done. Um, like I said, I really like this doctor. He's super cool. Um, and I'm really just doing this as preventative. I have no problem with aging. I want to age gracefully. I want to, you know, prevent myself from aging too quickly. And thankfully I've been lucky and I was blessed with genes where like we, the women in my family, they don't age, um, very fast but we do age like just like anybody else and that's fine I'm cool with aging like I'm cool with being an older wiser woman but at the same time I don't I, I don't really know how to word it but it's like I'm not afraid of getting older I'm not concerned with looking older I just want to do it gracefully and as less wrinkles as possible. I just don't like the eye area ages you faster. Um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm never going to get like fillers in my face. Um, I'm never going to like do like facelifts or anything crazy like that. I just like the idea of Botox. It's not invasive. It's simple. It's something that, you know, can help you. Cause even if I decide when I'm 50, you know what? I don't want to do Botox anymore. Like I'm done. All of that time that I spent doing the Botox will have kept my face from like really wrinkling really bad to where I'll look like I'm 40 at 50 and then I'll start aging a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's one of those preventative things for me that just gives me peace of mind, makes me feel a little better as I'm aging, but I would never be one of those people who's like, I don't want to get old. I don't want to age. I don't want to... I feel like the older I've gotten, the more comfortable and confident and happy and all of those things that I've gained from my age and my experience and, and my wisdom. You know, I still have so much more to learn, obviously, but I've also learned a lot and been through a lot. And I feel like that makes me who I am today. And that gives me the confidence I have today that I didn't have in my 20s. So I would never take that back. I would never want to be 20 again. I would never want to be that young again I would never want to be a teenager again like I am so happy in the life that I'm in right now and the stage of life that I'm in right now that I just really want to age gracefully not take it away if that makes any sense let me know if you're comfortable in the comments down below if you're somebody who does get like dysport or Botox and what your experience was like or if you love it I have girlfriends who have done it for years since they turned like 30 and they they swear by it. They love it. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. And I'm so happy I did. I'm, I'm so, like I said, I was so nervous and so scared the first time that I like couldn't even talk about it because I was like, what if something goes wrong? Which if something went wrong, I absolutely would have told you because I want to be honest about stuff like that be, just to like save anybody else the, you know, heartbreak or, you know, the trauma or whatever. But since it went so smoothly, I was like, I'm going to tell everybody this time because I just, hopefully I can give you some insight on this. And if you were on the fence or anything, hopefully I can maybe feel, make you feel a little bit more comfortable about the decision. 
but really just make sure whoever you hire to do it it's somebody professional and experienced and all of those things so with that being said i cannot believe how long i've actually talked sorry uh, i hope you enjoyed this vlog today i hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today thank you so much for watching if you're new hit that subscribe button and i will catch you on the next one bye